Today, we're going to look at the up and coming uh, golf star, Grayson Murray. Uh, may he rest in peace. Uh, passed away recently. Um, if you look to the eastern horizon when he was born, you would see the constellation associated with Gemini rising at 20, 20 degrees. Um, so first we're going to look and see how the planets are operating in this chart, and then we'll look and see when they were operating, and we'll then we'll look to see um, what uh, could could have been done to strengthen the chart. So uh, first we have Sun ruling the house of success. It is uh, slightly weak, uh, afflicted by a K2. Um, it gives success through leadership in his field. Um, but because it's slightly weak, there is some low self-esteem, uh, which led to depression. Moon is uh, ruling the house of wealth, the second house, and gives wealth through public entertainment, the golf. Uh, Mars is uh, ruling the house of income, and uh, Mars itself has to do with sports, so income through sports. Um more Mars is sitting in the fifth house, which has to do with entertainment and sports. Then we have Mercury. Mercury is ruling the fourth house of happiness. It is placed also in that house of sports and entertainment. Um, then we have uh, so so happiness through sports. And then we have weak old age Jupiter. Any any planet that's more than twenty five degrees. Is, said to be in old age and has trouble uh, promoting its own significations. And uh, so uh, it is ruling the house of partnerships um, uh, and, you know, connects partnerships and his sponsors. Um, but because it's slightly weak, um, sitting in that house of happiness, uh, it also led to some depression, some social anxiety, some um addiction to alcohol then we have venus venus is uh, ruling the house of sports and it is placed in the house of success so success through sports again then we have weak infant saturn at zero degrees uh gives uh ruling the house of good fortune uh through hard work venus is hard work and it, he also uh, connected with the Christian religion towards the end of his life. Uh, ninth house has to do with religion. Then uh, challenging Rahu and Ketu, they're afflicting the sun, leading to some social anxiety, alcohol addiction, um, etc. Let's look at the timing of events. Um, uh, in 2014, he walked away um, when he was in the lead uh, at a um, golf match. Um, that's during a, a K2 period. In 2017, he uh, won the PGA uh, during a, a moon period, uh, bringing uh, fame. And then uh, 2022, he had an accident. Uh, during a, a K2 period, uh, causing unexpected events. Uh, he ended up in the hospital, K2 sitting in the house of hospitalization. In 2023, he affirmed his religious faith. Um, and then 2023, also he got engaged uh, during a um, Jupiter period. Jupiter has to do with relationships. 2024, he won the a PGA uh, tournament, again, during a sun period, bringing success. And then uh, May of 2024, during a Rahu K2 period, um, you can see that uh, in the chart on the left-hand side, Rahu and K2 are at the most effective point, the, the rising sign degree, and they are afflicting his house of happiness as well as um, his 12th house of end of life. Uh, what could be done to strengthen the chart? So 
uh, doing some charity work for Rahu and K2. I think he did some, but more would be beneficial. And then uh, my favorite remedy, Kavash, Silver Locket, contained the Devita Yantras for his benefic planets that need strengthening. If you'd like to get a Kavash or get a reading or learn Vedic astrology, you can go to www.vastucreations.com. Thank you so much for listening.